Six Flags over Texas. This is the first Six Flags park. This is where Six Flags started from. Over Texas is a strange park. And it's I love strange, it. <laughs> it's a strange layout, isn't it? Yeah, right. so we just came back from Fiesta, Texas, that a lot of people say that one of the best Six Flags parks or the best Six Flags park. Yeah. But Over Texas has a different vibe. So a lot of people complain about the layout on Over Texas, and I get it because it is confusing. I mean, how many times did we accidentally walk past Runaway Mountain? We so, couldn't tell you how to get there. We, 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 you know. <laughs> we only rode Runaway Mountain when we appeared there. Because just, we could never found it. And Titan? Titan, Titan was the other Titan, one. Like, Titan was a hard one to find. Yeah, you need um, to go under a tunnel to get there. And it's not very clear. But I love the layout of that park. We went five days on over Texas. So if it's like a small park and easy to walk around, I feel like it, it can be... Kind of boring, I guess. Like mm. it, it's never boring in over Texas because you're always finding different places that you you can go like different paths and you end up in runaway <laughs> mountain. So I really enjoy the layout of that park. It's a big park. Yeah, it's a big park. I found one part of the park which was DC area with um, what? Which one? <laughs> which one? The one where you had Harley Quinn's crazy sanity. That was a bit, and Joker was a little bit rundown. But the other part of the DC area with Mr. Freeze was very really good. good. The teaming on Mr. Freeze is really cool. Most of the park is really well teamed. Yep. It's really cool to walk around. It just looks good, it and looks it, good. and the vibe was good as well for when we were there. Yeah, it was. I thought the teaming was amazing. It does have some standard Six Flags teaming, but also they have a lot of different teaming based on Texas. And they have even animals there. It just feels like the park has a lot of character. Rides, first day, not so many open. Thirteen closed rides. One of the days that we were there, it came kind of funny. We we're just walking around and we checking which one was stopped closed. riding rides and just had a laugh. <laughs> So I enjoyed it. It didn't dampen the mood. We had a laugh with it. And I find if you have a laugh with these things, you can have a good time. Things were shut for wind. There was no wind. The Starfly was going, which is the notorious ride to shut due to wind. So that was always strange. Due to the wind, due to maintenance, due to the weather. Mr. Freeze was down because we saw the train fallied in the middle of the track. I knew that was not going to reopen that day. But we had five days. Maybe that's why we felt less stressed. So in the middle of our visits to Six Flags over Texas, we were going to California for Six Flags Magic Mountain. Because of that, we were not as concerned because we knew the following weekend they were planning to get more, more stuff open. When we got back from California, Mr. Freeze was open. And we got the chance to ride it. I loved it. I loved it because it's what I wanted. I love the team on Mr. Freeze. The entrance is so iconic. The queue, the station. On the station is also really cool to see the trains getting dispatched. How they have the switch track in order to operate with two trains. Bye. I really want to go to Six Flags St. Louis now and ride it backwards. Mr. Freeze for first blast just sounds like the perfect thing. Going up the spike backwards is almost always better than going up forwards, so I'd love to check that out. Another coaster in the DC area with a cool queue is Batman. Nothing too special on the teaming, and the ride itself is just a Batman clone. But it's still a good ride and looks nice in the area. New Texas Giant, which was my 400 coaster credit. So it's going to have a special place for me. It is not the best RMC, but I really enjoyed it. And it shows what the company can do. To me, it felt like a little steel vengeance. And you can see a very similar track layout getting ready towards a big steel vengeance later down the line. It's amazing what it's done. It does run out of steam towards the end of the ride, though. So by the time it gets to the end, it felt like it was meandering a little bit. But... Again, for what it is, it was still brilliant. Shockwave and Titan, really good rides, really good positive G-forces. Yeah, both have um, grey out moments. We also went on Pandemonium, the guest Larry spinning coaster. It's the same of the one in Fiesta, Texas, but we felt that this one was a bit better. 
So another ride that was shot on our first day was La Fibra. And I love going on new rides that I've not been on before. I get really excited when there's something that I don't know how it's going to feel as a ride. And La Fibra was one for me. I've not been on an Intamin bobsled. Now, the first time I went to Efteling was after Bob closed. It was good. It was interesting. Our first day was closed and it opened the same day as Mr. Free. So we had two of them new credits. Redemption visit. Yeah, that was a redemption visit. Same as um, Judge Voice Green. That was oh, yes. shot for wind when we first went. And then it was open, so we got that. We just missed Aquaman. I really wanted to ride because it's the same as Pulsar from Wallaby, Belgium. And I love Pulsar so much, but it opened after we visit. Plus, we missed the Runaway Mine Train. And the Joker. Although we missed the Joker, it's a clone of other SNS for the free spin coasters that we've done in other Six Flags parks. I really like it, especially when we get a lot of spins. And sometimes we do. They have a dark ride, Battle for Metropolis. It's the Justice League shooting dark ride, similar to the other Six Flags parks. Over Texas has some good flat rides, and some of them has a really cool teaming that fits the park. We went there just before Harley Quinn's pink sanity was removed. It was awesome to see, but it wasn't as intense as it looked. We didn't like it that much. Over Texas has the tallest star flyer. Yeah. We Hate that ride, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we, we, did it. we did it. The worst thing about it is one of the five days we were in over Texas, we were flying to Las Vegas that night. So we went in, we did one ride, which was just the Star Flyer. <laughs> Got some food with our dining plan, and then went to the airport. So food was good. Food was good. Food was good. We had a that was a chicken sandwich. Yeah, okay. was a, Chick yeah, not um, that good actually. But yeah, yeah, it wasn't that good. We didn't really like the restaurants on, on over Texas because... Chopsticks was closed. Yeah. And, and we eat chopsticks. Just like the rice, chopsticks <laughs> was closed. So. We stay in a hotel just opposite over Texas. There's a lot of options of hotels on the area and it's pretty easy to walk to the park. It's a very nice walk with a view of the lake and the coasters in the background. And we also could see the ride from our window. And I love walking back to the hotel, seeing Judge Royce cream all lit up at night. Overall, I loved over Texas. Yeah, great park. I will definitely go back again for Aquaman and to just rewrite some things. Definitely check out over Texas. Yeah. It was very good. And I'll definitely be back. <laughs>